Hello, I'm Libby Dowling, Clinical Advisor at Diabetes UK. This video will show you how to inject your child with insulin safely. After diagnosis, you and your child, depending on their age and confidence, will have been taught how to inject insulin. Together with your children's diabetes team, you'll have also worked out which insulin is best for your child and when you need to inject. You'll probably have been given a pen injector device. Pens are fairly easy to use and there's a range of pens to suit the different insulins available. Insulin is injected just under the skin. It doesn't go into a muscle or a vein. Once injected, it's taken into the bloodstream where it gets to work. You'll probably find that the first few injections you give your child will be uncomfortable or maybe even painful. And that's because you're both tense and anxious about the procedure. But as your confidence grows, it'll get easier. There are four main injection sites, your stomach, your buttocks, your thighs and your arms. Though you should also check with your paediatric diabetes team whether injecting your arms is suitable for your child because it's not for everybody. It's really important that you rotate the site that you inject your child. If you don't, you'll find that your child develops hard lumps under the skin, which don't look or feel very nice. They also affect the way that insulin is absorbed, so it'll mean that your child's diabetes isn't so well controlled. Also, as well as rotating the site you inject, you should also change the spot within each site. If you rotate the sites and spots of your injection, you'll help avoid lumps forming, and any that have, have already formed will gradually disappear. A typical injecting kit consists of an insulin pen, which might be a reusable one or a disposable one. In a disposable pen, the insulin comes as an integral part of it. In a reusable pen, you will need to fit an insulin cartridge separately. There will also be a needle that fits on to the end of the pen. It's really important that you dispose of all the sharps very, very safely. For that, you can either use a needle clipper which clips off the sharp point of the needle and stores it safely inside. And there's also a sharps bin where you can throw the entire needle away. All of these items are available on prescription from your healthcare team. Wash your hands with warm water and dry them thoroughly. Prime the pen. Attach the needle to the insulin pen. Dial up two units and hold the pen upright. Press the plunger. Insulin should appear at the tip of the needle. If not, repeat the process until it does. Set the pen to your dose. Turn the knob until you see the correct dose. With your child, decide which part of their body you're going to inject. If you've been advised to, either lift your child's skin with your free hand or get your child to lift the skin gently with their free hand and insert the pen at a 90 degree angle. Gently push down on the plunger until the pen goes back to zero. Count to 10 slowly. Pull the needle slowly out of the skin and release the skin fold. Take the needle off the end of the pen and dispose of it safely in a sharp spin. There's no right age for a child to take on injecting themselves. Some like to do it right from the start Others prefer to get used to injections first. They need to make the decision in their own time. When they're ready, you can gently help them take on responsibility gradually. Many children gain confidence in doing their own injections when they see other children inject. So events run by your local children's diabetes team or by Diabetes UK can be really useful. Even if your child has learned to inject themselves, just be aware that sometimes they'll want you to take that responsibility back and do it for them. And if your child is injecting themselves, you should keep a check on how they're doing it regularly to make sure they haven't got into bad habits. Vary your injection site. Use a new needle each time you inject. Count to 10 slowly before you remove the needle. Always dispose of sharps safely. If you have any questions about your child's diabetes, your child's diabetes healthcare team is there to help and support you. 
You can find out more about injecting insulin and how to manage your child's diabetes at the Diabetes UK website at www.diabetes.org.uk.